News Flash Briefing, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. This afternoon, the Just Georgia Coalition will hold a press conference at 2 right here in Atlanta about the Justice Caravan happening this weekend in memory of Ahmaud Arbery. On Saturday morning, protesters will head to Brunswick, Georgia to protest the murder of Arbery. We're learning more about how Arbery died. Autopsy reveals he was shot three times, once in the hand, twice in the chest. Father and son Gregory and Travis McMichael are charged in his murder. They told police they thought Arbery was a burglary suspect. CBS 46 is leading coverage on the shooting death of Arbery. You can download the free CBS 46 streaming app for updates. Now to the latest on the coronavirus. The numbers here in Georgia sit at 1,493 deaths with 35,000 cases and 273,000 tests have been administered. New today in Rome, Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp getting a first-hand look at one of the new medical pods designed to treat COVID-19 patients. Hospital staff taking the governor inside the new medical pod located in the Floyd Medical Center parking lot, which has 20 beds available to treat non-critical COVID-19 patients. The pod arrived about two weeks ago and does not currently have any patients in it. In addition, Floyd Medical Center retrofitted a parking deck and added an additional 100 beds to accommodate overcrowding in the event of a potential outbreak. Seeing today a 100 bed temporary unit in the parking deck just across the way really shows how forward thinking that this group has been. And quite honestly, I think how forward thinking our state has been in a lot of ways. We are learning more about Georgia's supply of remdesivir, which Governor Kemp confirmed was received from the federal government. Remdesivir is the only drug that's been authorized by the Food and Drug Administration to treat COVID-19. The governor is confirming 30 cases with 40 vials of the drug here. Dr. Kathleen Toomey from the State Department of Health saying it will go to hospitals, not private practices. A team's meeting now to determine who will get the drug and how much of it. Official protocols will be released within the next few days. Summer day camps and public swimming pools are getting the green light to reopen. Right now, places like the YMCA are getting ready to begin some of the youth programs in the metro area on Friday. Some of the guidelines that must be followed include camps are only allowed to have groups of 20, including the camp workers, if six feet of distance cannot be maintained. Parents will have to stay in their cars while dropping the children off because they'll have to be screened when entering. While the news is a relief for some parents, others are still very concerned. It's dangerous out here. I mean, it's a real pandemic and the kids are, I mean, they're going to still touch each other. They don't know no better. As of right now, overnight camps are not allowed. All right, a warm up is on the way to make you feel like it's time for summer camp. Let's get the latest on today's weather with Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Valdez. Yeah, the warm-up starts today. Even though cloudy, we will reach those temperatures in the upper 70s and then eventually the low 80s. By the time we head to the weekend, we'll see those temperatures in the upper 80s. Right now, 70 degrees at Hartsville Jackson International. No rain since midnight, although we have seen a couple light sprinkles in the North Georgia mountains. We'll keep it dry and warm with upper 80s this weekend. Make sure you join us at 4 o'clock as we talk about the potential of a system developing in the tropics just in time for the weekend. This has been your personal flash briefing from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Home.